Now, two years after his high-profile trial on war crimes charges, retired Navy SEAL Eddie Gallagher says he's ready to set the record straight. Now, if you remember, in 2019, Gallagher was acquitted on the most serious charges, including allegations of firing indiscriminately at civilians, but was found guilty of posing for a photo with an ISIS prisoner's corpse. Well, his brand new book, Amazon.com, Hannity.com, bookstores everywhere, it's called The Man in the Arena, offers new details, his side of the story. Joining us to explain, Eddie Gallagher, along with his wife, Andrea. Eddie uh, and Andrea, thank you both for being here. You know, first of all, we, I couldn't in an entire hour tell the whole story. ISIS was trying yeah, to that's kill. Right. ISIS was trying oh. to kill you. I urge people to read the book. You're a highly decorated service person. You know, you've been in Kosovo, Africa, Iran, I'm sorry, Iraq, Afghanistan. Put your life on the line every day. And, and you, you pose with a picture of somebody that wanted to kill you? Excuse me, when you're in war, they're trying to kill you. I never, you know, I never understood that part. What do you want the American people to know that they don't know that the media mob falsely told them? Yeah, uh, I mean, the reason we wrote the book is to get the truth out there uh, about what happened or what took place during that whole two-year two ordeal. Uh, you know, the media decided to portray me in one way. Uh, they labeled me like a psychopath, a warmonger for actually wanting to do my job. Uh, and then demonizing me, they demonized all of my friends and brothers that have fought over the past 20 years. Uh, so I really wanted to get the truth out there and just show the public that these people cobbled together a case out of a bunch of uh, white lies, which then escalated to even bigger lies uh, so that the prosecutors could try and get a win, uh, which, you know, 50 percent of that was not reported by the media. So we are definitely telling our side of the story. And, uh, you know, we put in QR codes in the book so you'll be able to uh, listen to the trial audio, watch all the NCIS interviews. Um, see all the evidence so you can, you know, base your decision at the end. Um, we wanted to be as transparent as possible, unlike the media and the prosecutors were during our whole deal. Andrew, you have to live through this hell, um, not knowing if he's ever going to get out of jail. Um, meanwhile, you know, we put our national treasure in harm's way and send him into war zones to fight. I thought the idea if we're going to fight a war is to win the war. Then you have rules of engagement that prevent people from trying to win. Uh, how was it from your end and, until finally there was an admission that somebody else did it, not Eddie? Yeah, well, you know, when you're a spouse of a naval special operator, your whole job is to support them going to back to back to back combat deployments like Eddie did. And when we were in the wake of this and we were realizing that in fact, no one was coming to our aid, not the command at Naval Special Warfare, um, and we were against the full weight of the government, and then what turned out to be the mainstream media that vilified him and our family. We really felt that we had to do something more in order to fight for him, fight for his freedom. So we really took, you know, advantage of everything that we're granted as Americans, our right to due process, and we fought for those rights for him. He did actually get the ability to be freed because of President Trump. So he was in jail for nine and a half months. Our children were taken out at gunpoint in a home raid that was conducted on our home. Um, it's really a homegrown terror situation that we suffered. And now we're telling that side of the story that very few people know what all we went through in order to just fight for him and get him the chance to have a fair trial. And Eddie, I, I, and both of you, I would say, I urge people to get this book because, you know, you spent nine months of your life in jail and you were putting your life at risk for your country. This can't happen anymore, Eddie. And, and I know you had champions like my buddy Bernie Kerrig and, and, and people like President Trump came to your aid. But I'll tell you, there were people that wanted you away for life. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, you're What's right. You know, this this can't and it shouldn't happen, uh, mm -hmm. but it did. And that's the reason we're we're doing the tell all book and just showing the American people exactly how they treat our war fighters. I, I believe that we've seen it in the past year, how we treat our, our law enforcement. Um, it's the it's the same premise. And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. the, we serve our country. We dedicate our lives to, you know, defeating evil and we risk our lives while doing it. You know, the least you can do is give us due process when we are 
accused of something. Not It's immediately guilty until proven innocent, and that's not the way it should be. Well, I'll, I'll offer on behalf of, I know, many in this audience, thank you. Thank you for putting your life on the line. Yeah. And frankly, the country owes you an apology. That shouldn't happen to our brave heroes, our national treasure. You're willing to fight these wars. They send you into these war zones with handcuffs on. That's madness. We can't fight wars that way ever again, ever. The book is phenomenal, Man in the Arena, uh, and it's in bookstores everywhere, Amazon.com, Hannity.com. Uh, it's worth everybody's read, and you'll be shocked that your country treats our heroes this way. It's terrible. All right, thank you both. When we come back, another shock, a shocking crime in New York City, this time in Times Square. Yet, AOC says, well, the concern about crime is just mere hysteria. New York City GOP mayoral candidate Curtis Sliwa will join us. Can a Republican win in a liberal city like New York, like, say, Rudy Giuliani did? Straight ahead.